the ADA was signed into law on July 26, 1990 at Washington, D.C., and in the same year, CCDC was founded. That summer, the summer of 1990, Jane Parker and I had the opportunity to, to go to an independent living conference that was being held in Washington, D.C. And when the conference was over, we were asked to stay to lobby for the ADA in Washington. CCDC acts as a way to enforce the principles embodied in the ADA here in all parts of Colorado. As we celebrate the 33rd anniversary of the Americans with Disability Act and Colorado Cross Disability Coalition, we want to take a moment to look back at what has been accomplished in our time. Advocacy was just natural. I just, over time, built, sharpened my sense of right and wrong, just and unjust, and uh, it has been a complete change and I and I do love it. Since our founding, CCDC has helped people with disabilities in areas such as healthcare advocacy and Medicaid problems, solve high impact problems through the CCDC legal program, and increase accessibility for buildings across Colorado like the Capitol Building in Denver. I also think when we got back to Colorado, we realized how many places in Colorado were inaccessible and I think we pushed to help people decide to report it and to fight it when they could, instead of just meekly accepting things the way they were. We actually had a legislator tell us, there'll be a ramp over my dead body. Well, he has deceased, I believe, and we do have ramps, not ramps, but other methods of getting into the ante room, which is that steps and it's where you meet with legislators if you want to during, while they're um, in session. So it's an important place to be, to have that access. Another thing that we took them to over um, was they didn't have any kind of enhanced hearing devices for people who were deaf or hearing impaired. And they were just, it, it was very much an attitude of we don't need to do this. You know, wins are few and far between, and a lot of times progress takes a long time. But what's really awesome is that you get to be around diverse leaders, um, where, so you're constantly getting new ideas and being invigorated by so many different really cool so movements for social change. And because disability impacts everything else, like housing justice, food justice, you know, legal justice, access to justice, we get to you know, transportation, all of those things, we get to be in all of, you know, sit at all of those tables. So it's, it's really cool. Um, it's, you're never bored um, ever. You're always getting to learn and you're always getting to meet new, new people and get new ideas. So it, it's, it's very, I find it very invigorating. It feeds my passion. It, um, I think the proudest moments I have are when I succeed in getting something for someone that wouldn't ordinarily have it. There was a, and both of them are Spanish speaking. There's a Spanish speaking consumer that we had who had cerebral palsy and he needed an elevator in his home to be able to get up to the bedrooms where everybody was and also to enjoy meals with his family. Um, until that happened, he was trapped on the ground floor and people had to come down to include him in the family. And um, it was a fight to get a Spanish interpreter. It was a fight to getting the benefits that he needed. And so in the very end, when we knew that we'd done everything we could, that's when I told him I have CP too. And that really made a difference for the family to know that someone with a disability was fighting for them. Everything we do at CCDC is a team effort. I always say we succeed as a team or fail as a team. And there's so many other people involved. So I get frustrated when people want to think it's me, not our whole team. While it is great to look at the past, let us also look towards the future. CCDC still has much planned and we hope to continue to serve Colorado. We are currently supporting local communities and training the advocates of tomorrow through our own youth program. We also continue to advocate through the legislative session by proposing and supporting new bills that would help many. I think that 
we have a lot more acceptance of people with disabilities in the community than we did when I started. Um, you didn't see people out in their wheelchairs and their scooters in Pueblo. You might have in Denver because that's the center of everything. They have far more resource, resources than we do. And people have learned they don't have to take no for an answer. So I think that's where it goes. But it's always a small group of people who stand up and say, this isn't right and we're not going to take it anymore. And having um, people with disabilities so visible and so present in society is very important. One is pick your battles because if you try to go after everything, you'll burn out. Second is use a sense of humor. Um, what we're doing is critical and not funny, but if you can try and have fun doing that, I think that's important. We want you and we need you. The uh, movement for disability rights and disability justice is not over. Uh, we got some good laws, but they need to be enforced. And the laws that we've got, like the Americans with Disabilities Act, are really a floor, not a ceiling. So they just provide for the bare minimum access, and there is so much more we can do. We still have uh, more than 50% of us are unemployed. People with disabilities are most likely to live in poverty, and that causes problems with a whole bunch of other issues like housing, transportation, you know, general access to society. So those are all of the things that we still need to fix. And we need your voices, your fresh ideas, your energy and your passion. And there is there is plenty of room for you for things. If you're not sure of things, there are people that will be thrilled. And I'm one of them that will be absolutely thrilled to work with you, mentor you, support you, and then let you take leadership. You don't have to wait for someone to give you permission. Just, just get involved because advocacy is in democracy actually is all about who shows up. Colorado Cross Disability Coalition. Nothing about us without us ever.